Columbia. It's a small town with a couple of basketball teams playing big. The Crimson Tide boys are 13-0, their best start in 31 years. Columbia's girls are 14-0 and outscoring their opponents by nearly 30 a game. I can't remember this deep in the season both teams being undefeated. We, we had teams that were, you know, they may have had a couple losses or so, but not both teams being undefeated. That, that's special. After losing the district title game last year to, to uh, Lancaster Catholic, um, we wanted to make sure that we got better in all areas and came back with um, with a vengeance. We haven't had a 13-0 start in a while, so he just keeps pushing us every day to keep the streak. When you walk into the gym here at Columbia, one of the things that stands out are the banners for both the boys and girls teams and some of their past accomplishments. And the other thing you'll notice is that there's not a lot of recent numbers on there. That's something that's spurring both of these teams on. Yeah, it's definitely really important. Yeah, our freshman year and our sophomore year, we didn't do that good. So like actually winning now and maybe getting our year up there would be really cool. We want to hang a banner for everything, sections, leagues and all that. So we take we take that stuff serious. How much does one team sort of fuel the other as you kind of like up wins? Kind of like competing right now. Like you know, whoever takes the L first, like you know, we're kind of like we don't want we we don't want to be the first ones to take the <laughs> loss. Like, but we don't want them to lose either. We hope that we both keep going undefeated. Yeah. There you go. We both support each other both yeah. games. Yeah. Perfect answer.